I swam the bay, uh, saved the bay in 1977. It was the inaugural swim. Uh, I believe Save the Bay was in its infancy then. Uh, I was 18. I was a lifeguard at the time. It was quite a memorable swim. It was the longest open water swim I had ever done. There were uh, maybe 200 swimmers. First thing I noticed when I did the swim in 77 was that the water on the Jamestown side was, it had this dank, uh, stale odor to it, <clears throat> kind of like a musty basement or a, <clears throat> a subway tunnel or something like that. <laughs> um, when I got out of the water, uh, after about an hour or so, eh, I was kind of coated with a sheen of oil. Um, I heard some swimmers had tar balls stuck to them. I didn't have anything like that, but I had this oil sheen <laughs> all over me. <laughs> And uh, I was really looking forward to taking a shower. I could see the difference between then and now when I just swam it. The, the water quality is so much improved. Uh, the clarity, the, the smell is that nice briny ocean smell. Uh, like I said, the clarity, I could see almost the bottom for the first 200 yards. It was really nice. I had the, the great pleasure of uh, swimming it with my nephew, my 15-year-old nephew, who I coaxed into joining us. And it was really a, a great thing to see him doing it in this, these conditions of, of water that we weren't able to experience in 77.